It's the first day of school in the northwest suburbs, specifically Elgin. Many students in school district U46 are hoping that they can keep studying in their classrooms instead of in front of a computer screen. WGN's Megan Dwyer has that story. It was an exciting day here in Elgin, especially for the students who were stuck at home all year last year. Parents obviously having some anxiety today, but most of the people we talked to say they have full faith in the district. In the morning when I first came here, I was a little nervous, but it became fun and I wasn't nervous after all. The first day of school can be full of jitters. Uh, it was good, but I was really tired even under normal circumstances. There was a little bit of worry about uh, how she'd handle it and stuff like that, but she took it like a champ. They can't be vaccinated, so sending them into a school with a bunch of other kids, and you know they don't keep separate. But this year, especially after last year, excitement is at an all-time high. How'd your mask work? Kids at all Elgin schools must wear masks. He has asthma, so just making sure that he wasn't fidgeting with his mask and wasn't, you know, not getting enough air as he should. It gets hot and sweaty, but when I just change my mask and it's fun. District is also partnering with the University of Illinois to test unvaccinated students, teachers, and staff members. U46 has been really good so far. Superintendent Tony Sanders says today went even better than expected. This year we, we stand a chance to really pick up lost ground. While there are a few cases of suspected COVID-19, the district says that's inevitable with 37,000 students and they are prepared for it. Our nurses are fully trained to handle this. They know what they're doing. And as long as people are following the proper mitigation strategies, wearing, wearing their masks, staying three feet apart to the best of their ability, there won't be any problems in schools this year. Parents say they are happy to be back. He's excited, so yeah, I hope he gets to stay. And they hope it stays that way. Are you coming back tomorrow, do you think? Uh, yes. Okay. I know so. The superintendent says if there is an outbreak of COVID-19, he anticipates some individual classrooms might have to return to virtual learning, but he says he doesn't expect that to happen. And if it does, it will only be in a very rare circumstance. The district also encouraging everyone to get vaccinated when eligible. Reporting in Elgin tonight, Megan Dwyer, WGN News.